So do you believe at all that there was any truth to that little phone call that happened earlier? You know, the one where Kamala gets a call from mommy and daddy, Mr. and Mrs. Obama making the call. Oh, honey, we are so proud of you. So, 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 so proud of you. The whole thing was supposed to be impromptu. Of course, there just happened to be cameras. There happened to be sort of a repetition of lines from the two of them. It was really nauseating. But let's take a listen and we can all kind of <clears throat> on our own. By the way, her campaign cover colors, vomit green and black. Vomit green, seriously. That's the Kamala headquarter campaign. So uh, it kind of gels with how one wants to feel after hearing this call. Take a peek. Kamala. Hello. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> oh, hi, you're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you both. I, I, I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud <laughs> of you. This is going to be historic. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh my goodness. Michelle Brock, <laughs> this means so much to me. I am looking forward to doing this with the two of you, Doug and I both, and um, getting out there, being on the road. But most of all, I just want to tell you the, the words you have spoken and the friendship that you have given over all these years mean more than I can express. So thank you both means so much and um and we're gonna have some fun with this too aren't we <laughs> okay what do you think i want to know in the chat this is a live show by the way we are live so let me know i'm asking you and if you're watching after it's live let me know below do you think that was staged i'm gonna tell you my little knowledge of tv a lot of knowledge of tv that was totally staged it was totally completely staged i mean they had different camera angles and then you heard them repeat each other we're so proud of you and then the other one says we're so proud of you come on come on she was handpicked from the beginning in fact the whole michelle might run thing i think there was a bit of a decoy shall we say ladies and gentlemen just to kind of distract you along the way because you see he handpicked her he handpicked her from the very beginning think about it how on earth is this woman our vice president Think about what she did. I played you the clip in yesterday's show. Go back and watch it if you want to see it just exactly how she, she sliced and diced him up one side and down the other. Kamala Harris to Joe Biden in the 2020 debate, accusing him of being a racist. She tried to take him out. And yet what did he do? He actually brought her in. I mean, talking about, you know, the devil amongst us. He brought her in as vice president. Why would he do that? He didn't trust her. He didn't like her. Dr. Jill couldn't stand her. So they said, and so why would you bring her in unless Barack Obama told you you had to, you had to, you had to. And perhaps he was hoping that something might happen. You know, something might happen on the way to the forum as far as Joe Biden goes, but he made it. He stayed alive. He's still there. He's still alive and kicking. And then he actually had the audacity to say, I'm going to run another term. And he ran and they couldn't do anything about it. So what did they do? They convinced him to go into that debate, which you and I know was kind of a kamikaze mission on steroids, given that he can't string a thought or sentence together for a solid two minutes. And the rest is history. So the poor guy gets taken down, even though everyday American voters, Democrats, went to the polls and actually voted for him. Remember, you weren't allowed to actually say that he was deteriorating. That was just crazy fake news somehow. If he dared to say anything like that, cheap fake to be specific. That was Karine Jean-Pierre's terminology for it when we actually showed you the raw footage of him challenged, right? We'll go with that, challenged. So granted, you know what? He doesn't deserve to be in that space right now. He probably shouldn't be in that space right now, but it's nonetheless who the American people selected. That's who the Democrat party selected. And now they're taking it away from him. And in comes Kamala, complete with the blessing of the almighty Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle. So they think they can get this thing done. I'm not so sure. I mean, I'm really, really not so sure. I think that Donald Trump is going to be a very tough candidate to beat.